Hello everyone, welcome to all. I'm Dr. Vaijayanti Ramavat and in this video, I'm going to explain different accounting principles that entity needs to apply when preparing financial statement. In this video, we will learn the meaning of accountancy. We will understand the difference between concept and conventions. Also, we will study the principles of accounting. So first, just for the basic knowledge, we will understand the meaning of accounting. So accounting is the art of recording, summarizing, reporting, analyzing financial data. After understanding the meaning of accounting, we move towards the accounting principles. Accounting principles, also known as GAPs, that is generally accepted accounting principles. So accounting principles are the rules and guidelines adopted for recording and reporting of the business transactions. Right. So we know that each and every business organization maintains the records of transactions and also they prepare various accounting statements. So it's reflect the financial position. So while preparing the reports, they have to follow these rules and guidelines. These principles are adopted by the accountant universally and also make it easy to understand. These accounting principles are very useful. They can be classified into two categories that is concept accounting and convention accounting. So let's understand first accounting concept. Accounting concepts refers to the rules of accounting which are to be followed while recording business transactions and preparing final accounts. So accounting concepts are those basic assumptions and conditions on which accounting is based. Now convention accounting. Accounting conventions implies the customs or practices that are widely accepted by the accounting bodies and are also adopted by the firm to work as a guide in the preparation of financial accounts. So it means that those procedures and principles which are not legally binding but are generally accepted by accounting bodies. I hope you understand the difference between accounting concepts and conventions. Moving to the next accounting principles. As per previous discussion, accounting principles are classified into two that is concept and conventions. So first we discuss about the concept accounting which are as follows. Business entity concept, money measurement concept, cost concept, going concern concept, dual aspect concept, realization concept and the conventions accounting are consistency, disclosure, conservatism and materiality. So let's see the first business entity concept. Business entity concept are also known as separate entity concept. The concept assumes that the business enterprise is independent of its owners. As for this concept, it is assumed that the business is separate and distinct entity from its owner. According to this concept, only business transactions are recorded in the books of accounts. Personal transactions of the owners are not recorded. For example, owner purchases grocery for his personal use Right? So that cannot be recorded in the books of account. But if he purchased the stationery for the business use, only that can be recorded. Next concept is money measurement concept. As per this concept, only those transactions which can be expressed in monetary terms are recorded in the books of accounts. For example, Honesty or efficiency towards 
work will not be recorded in the books of accounts as they cannot be expressed in terms of money but if a business has a machinery land and building are expressed in monetary terms like building 5 lakh rupees machinery 20 lakh rupees so these are recorded in the books of account now next concept is cost concept which is also known as historical concept okay so according to this concept this concept sorry this concept holds that all the assets of enterprise are recorded in the accounts at their purchase price so according to this concept the assets which are acquired by a concern are recorded in the books of accounts at cost price the cost of acquisition is related to past hence it is known as historical cost now moving toward the next is going concern concept the concept assumes that the business will have a perpetual succession that is it will continue its operation for an indefinite period so according to this concept it is the basic assumption that business is going concern and will continue its operation for future it will be not dissolved in nearby future as per this concept only we make credit transactions right we give credit to our customers by assuming that our business will continue for uh, for a very long period and we can cover the money in future now next is dual concept it is the primary rule of accounting which states that every transaction affects two accounts so according to this principle every transaction has two aspects and both the aspects are recorded in the books of account one is debited another is credited with the equal amount for example akshay starts a business with rupees 5 lakh on one hand the business gets cash of rupees 1 lakh right on the other hand a liability arises that is the business has to pay akshay sum of rupees 5 lakh so this is the fact that every debit there is a corresponding at equal credit now next concept is realization concept as per this concept revenue should be recorded by the firm only when it is realized it means that income is recorded only when it is realized that is either it is received or earned for example you are selling certain goods to customer and he tells you that he will pay the amount that is in cash in future right so he immediately does not pay you any money okay so then you cannot consider it as a cash and record it in the books of account okay only and only when you receive cash from your customer then the sale is considered to be made then you can record it in the books of accounts get it okay so these are the concept of accounting now moving towards the conventions of accounting so the first is convention of consistency according to this convention financial statement can be compared only when the accounting policies are followed consistently by the firm over the period okay so according to this convention financial statement should be prepared on the same basis as that of the preceding period so whatever may be the accounting policies or methods once decided these are to be followed consistently now next is convention of disclosure this principle states that the financial statement should be prepared in such a way that it fairly discloses all the material information to the users so users of financial statements are like shareholders stakeholders investors creditors customers even government they use the financial statement to know the 
financial position of the business hence this convention says that it is very important to disclose all information relating to business in the financial statement next is convention of conservatism which is also known as prudence convention this convention states that the firm should not anticipate incomes and gains but provide for all expenses and losses it means that the anticipated profit are ignored because profit may arise or may not be arise so they want effect on our business but whereas the anticipated losses are considered while preparing financial statement because if the losses arrive then business has to be face the losses hence we need to anticipate all possible losses and the last convention is convention of materiality this concept it states that the financial statement should disclose all material item which might influence the decision of the users so according to this concept only those items to be disclosed in the financial statement which has a significant economic effect for example a significant fine incurred by an entity is disclosed separately in the financial statement right it cannot just be grouped with the general expenses for instance because an item material to one person may be immaterial to another person so these are the conventions or you can also known as custom and traditions which are followed by accountant to prepare the financial statement so get quickly summarized the content first we understand accounting is the art of recording summarizing reporting and analyzing financial transaction also we understand accounting concepts refers to the rules of accounting which are to be followed while recording business transaction and preparing final accounts next accounting conventions implies the customs or practices that are widely accepted by the accounting bodies accounting concepts are business entity concept money measurement concept cost concept going concern concept dual aspect concept and realization concept next convention accounting are consistency disclosure conservatism and materiality so i hope you understand the whole accounting principles thank you so much to listen me very patiently stay safe and stay healthy